Hello everyone, welcome to EduTap and also welcome to the 5 MCQs a day ARD, uh, ARD static series and um, in my previous lecture I have also told you uh, that this particular ARD static series it is uh, beneficial for both your NABAR examination as well as your AFO examination and today we are on day 14th of it and uh, uh, currently we are doing soil and water conservation chapter this chapter is quite long that is why do we are doing it in many parts right so let's move ahead and yes to our new audience kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and please join our telegram channel to get the PDF of every lecture that we provide here on YouTube right so yeah so the schedule it has been changed so uh, from now on uh, the classes of ARD static they would be on Tuesday Thursday and Saturday every day live at 1 p.m. Uh, so do join us at this time so now let's move ahead with question number one of this particular class so here the question asks dash of a soil is its capacity to exchange cations between the soil particles and the soil solution all right so this is the term that is used uh, basically definition has been given over here and here you have to tell that what is the correct answer to this particular option so yeah so the correct answer to this particular uh, option it is option number b that is cation exchange capacity so let's first understand what is cation and ion and then we'll move ahead all right see basically uh, what happens uh, we know that there are minerals in soil present right so those minerals they are uh, present in the form of cations and anions and what are these basically we know that positive and negative they attract each other right so in mineral also the components one is positive in nature one is uh, negative in nature for example I'll give you a very basic simple example if we go for uh, the common salt that you eat at home it is made up from NaCl here Na which is sodium it is positive its charge is positive so it is a cation and uh, this uh, chlorine this Cl it stands for chlorine it is of negative charge so this positive and negative charge they combine together and they become neutral and hence we get this salt salt are basically the minerals so in uh, uh, soil also we have different minerals right magnesium nitrogen and everything that is required so here what happens the soil the soil particles these clay particles or the soil particles they have negative charge on, on them all right now this negative charge it attracts or uh, the positive charge that is the cation so these are the anions these negative charge they are the anions they are the anions and these positive charge are cation all right so now uh, these are now hold these positive charges they are now hold tightly by whom by the soil particles and after that what happens the exchange between cation and anion it uh, keeps on taking place and uh, that is how the mineral that is required that is essential for plants it is uh, acquired or intake by the plants why because the particles they have those uh, minerals attached to them because of the cation exchange uh, all right and then they uh, the plants they take up uh, from the water these minerals I hope this is clear to you all uh, Sachin also said the correct answer which is option number B uh, if it is not clear comment down below I'll uh, I'll explain this again now we'll move ahead to question number two yeah this is all the explanation that I've already told you about uh, the cation exchange and uh, see again uh, the soil it has negative electric charge and then it attracts the uh, minerals which are positive in nature and uh, that would help the plant uh, because in this way those uh, positive minerals that are essential for the plants growth they would remain intact in soil only and would not uh, leach down below the soil right so next question it asks which type of soil are found in the hills of Jammu so different types of soil are present in India types of soil are very important from examination point of view so you have to tell me in the hills of Jammu sorry the hills of Jammu which type of soil is present all right so the correct answer to this particular question it is option number b that is forest and mountain soil all right so uh, forest uh, 
it is quite easy to remember uh, to know right because forest and mountains we are talking about hills over here so forest and mountain types uh, soil should be present right these laterite soil they are usually they are present in the uh, western ghats uh, and karnataka tamil nadu region then coming to and uh, uh, some of it is also present in assam side also and odisha also but most of the in the south southern region coming to arid and desert soil it is easier to uh, understand because it is talking about desert area we, we talk about western rajasthan we talk about talk about north gujarat right so all these area they constitute these and then coming to red soil your red soil it, uh, usually it, uh, it is in the uh, center of india uh, and also in the southern south of gangetic plains there these type of soils are present all right so there are different types of what is the summary of teaching this you should know about types of soil you should study about them now let's we move ahead with next question yeah but before that af examination it is quite near phase 2 importance is very much for making into the merit list because first phase it is just uh, the clear uh, for uh, passing it right but uh, to be into merit list you should uh, gain uh, good marks in phase 2 and that is why we have two courses this course one is for the ones who have an agriculture degree uh, but they feel like their base is not strong they can go for the videos lectures notes summary sheets and everything then we also have month month wise current magazines current affair magazines for agriculture specific for your examination we also have schemes that are related to agriculture and phase 2 test series that will be constituting of 25 full length mock tests and 30 sectional tests we have course 2 for those people who think they are prepared and they just need a quick revision so for them we have this mock test series which will have 25 full length mock tests and 30 sectional tests and detail pdf explanation and do remember though both the courses they are valid till 31st march and you can get 15% off by using the code early 15 all right so let's move ahead with question number 3 which says which of the following soil covers uh, largest area of india see this question uh, basically this topic that i am teaching in this particular question it is important from your nabard point of view also as well as your um, af also right because this particular soil because as the uh, question also suggests because it covers the largest area of india that is why it is quite important right so here the correct answer to this is option number d that is alluvial soil it is found uh, in abundant in india so most uh, it is the most available soil about 43% of soil that is present in india it is alluvial and it is found from anti soil soil order see these soil orders they are very important in fact the next question is related to that only and there i'll tell what is a soil order but for uh, now you should remember that it is anti soil uh, then coming to deposit in for flood plains by transportation how this alluvial soil are basically made see wherever there is a river because of the action of river the uh, soil from one place it is transported to another right so uh, this is how the alluvial soils they are formed now there are no horizon means there is no proper segregation of the soil profile and uh, Pradeep said the correct answer for this, and uh, this uh, particularly this alluvial soil, it is it is of two types, khadar and bhangat. Okay, so khadar it is newly formed alluvium means which uh, the soil which has uh, newly transported uh, through the action of river from one place to another that is known as khadar. But when it uh, kept remains in that area for a longer time, uh, some of its property it changes. Initially it is sandy, but then it becomes clay with deposition of more and more soil and And due to the effect of that particular area, then when it becomes older and more clay in nature, then we call it a bhangar soil. All right, so do, both are classification of that. Next, coming to the color, so color of it is varies from light gray to ash gray, and texture it is sandy to silty loam or clay. Alluvial soil is very important if you are going for Nabard also, if you are going for AFO also. In fact, in Nabard two to three times the same question has been asked, right? So do not uh, skip type of soil, especially alluvial. alluvial black red these are uh, renowned uh, right and present in abundance that is why next this is the exact question of nabard uh, that is black soils are made up of which of the following soil order so what is a soil order see if uh, uh, you must have studied till 10th in biology even if you belong to math background or biology after that but before that you must have studied that there are di different classification of uh, uh, organisms that are present in uh, this world right for in Uh, example in case of plants you have uh, phylum then you have order sub order then you have 
family, species, varieties, right? Uh, not in the sequence, but yes, you have different categorization. And with every categorization, uh, the common characteristic between all the uh, organism that belong in there, uh, they are quite same or similar in nature. Similarly, this soil order is one of such classification in which uh, the following categories, they have similar characteristics. And here you have to tell me uh, that black soil, it belongs to which soil order, all right? So, uh, Shubham, he says vertisol, Sachin says C, Pradeep says C and uh, yes, the correct answer to this is C, very good vertisol, it is a previous year question and you have given the correct answer. So, see again, uh, these soil orders are very important, antisol, you just have studied that antisols belong to, uh, it is the soil order of which soil, it is the soil order of alluvial soil, alright. Then you have oxisol, it is the soil order of laterite soil. And uh, vertisols, you, it is of uh, black soil only, we have just done it. And then uh, elfisol, it is of your uh, black soil, uh, sorry, it is of red soil. Right, so you have different classification that we have studied. Now we'll move ahead. I hope my uh, writing it uh, it is readable. I'll work on it. And now we'll move ahead to question number five, which says which of the following is our examples of regolith? Uh, so this question, uh, if Purnima she is watching, uh, I'm really sorry. Last time in live chat she asked me about what is regolith. I asked her that I'll uh, come to her answer in the end, but then I forgot. Uh, apologies for that, and that is why I've added this particular question. In in my this particular session so I hope you're watching you're not angry with me <laughs> so you have to tell me that which of the following is our example of regolith this is related to chapter soil only and that is why we are studying this so if you know the answer comment down below first see the correct answer to this particular question it is option number e that is all of the above so what is regolith let just understand see regolith it is a term that uh, it is a greek it is derived from greek word okay there are two greek words uh, one is rego rego means blanket or cover all right blanket or cover means the same thing and then we have lith which means soil all right which means soil. So any covering over the soil, it is known as regolith. In case of, uh, yes, Shubham, he gave the right answer. That is all of the above. So what is the thing that, yeah. So I uh, now understand. See, regolith is basically anything that covers the base, the parent rock or any rock. So uh, it, uh, it could be anything. It could be dust also. It could be soil also or any other broken rock that is present above the uh, uh, main rock right so now let's just understand why this moon dust is over here as the name suggests in India we usually consider soil as regolith usually all right because and what is the definition of soil as per uh, this particular regolith if you talk about uh, we usually say if the uh, the weathered soil uh, sorry weathered rocks that have been now into broken into finer pieces and it has some uh, you can say organic or you can say minerals in it then we consider it as soil if it does not we consider it as dust for example in other planets uh, there are loose but we don't call them soil we call them loose dust that is present why because they do not have any minerals in it that are important for the plants right so that is the moon dust is also a regolith because in that case in the uh, in above those uh, uh, that particular parent uh, rock uh, it is present and then uh, broken rocks are all can also be considered and in this regolith in fact the if you go for the birds or the small animals they find their shelter right and then soil of course now we know in dust it is also so any blanket any covering over loose covering you can say over a uh, uh, rock it is known as regolith i hope that is clear uh, and now you understood if you still haven't understand Bhunima, you can comment down below i'll reply there only i won't wait for the next class right so yeah 
that was the question number five and yes that is all for today the toppers of last session it is Pramod he said the right answer so the last question it was that what is the initial uh, the prior stage uh, to gully right so or uh, something like that but yes that was a revision question that we have already covered in a one of the previous lectures so Pramod Rila erosion was the correct answer Pramod said the right answer Vikram said the right answer Ranjani said the right answer then Selvi said the right answer and then we have Vinayak said the right answer and then Lena said the right answer and Utpal also said the right answer Lena is uh, live also so uh, good Rina and we have Utpal also and he gave the right answer to this all right so yeah so the homework for you uh, today it is what is what are the different types of soil texture see these are some of the topics that are related to this chapter only but i guess that you can find on your own that is not there much to explain these are the things that you already know but you just need to brush it up right so when you will find out that what are the different types of soil texture then you will realize that oh you know the uh, answer already right but you may not know it as soil texture so that is the homework for you all and yeah that is all for today i hope you enjoyed the session and i really hope this was helpful, uh, fruitful for you all if you have any queries comment on below i, ha I have solved it first uh, in my previous sessions also of the people who had query and let everybody aware of that and uh, i'll do in the further sessions also and all the very best for your examination we'll meet again on saturday at 1 pm uh, until then 